Libra, oh Libra, what's popping in the life of a Libra from the 1st to the 15th of August, baby? What's going on? How is this retrograde treating you? <laughs> It's a very purging time. We let people, places, things go that do not serve us, and we are accepting all of the reads. Reconnections, renewals, rebirths, recreations, reunions, reconciliations, a past trip to the reads. Fix the things that can grow and ascend you and move forward with you in your best interest. I don't like long intros, so we finna bust it. This is for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus, as well as the cross watchers of the sign of Libra from the 1st to the 15th of August, 2018, okay? Um, this is not a general, I'm sorry, this is not a personal, this is a general, okay? So it may or may not resonate with everybody. If it does not, it's okay. Just watch your sun, your moon, and this, if you leave with your sun, watch your moon, your rising, and your Venus, okay? Just don't come in for me, and we're going to be cool. All right, so let's get it. To all of my new subscribers, y'all, welcome to the family. We cry, we laugh, we joke, we cuss, we do not pass judgment. We grow, we ascend, we share, and I love every minute of it. Thank you for every like, every share, every comment, every subscribe, every piece of love that you have given. I receive it, and I send it back to you in the overflow. All right, let's get it. All right, so we're going to start actually with your crystal angels, oracle cards, messages, form, Doreen virtue. The first card that I pulled for you guys was... Emerald, okay. It says ceremonies and celebrations. It's a time for important life passages such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, or anniversaries. There will be a reason to gather with loved ones and celebrate together. This card is a sign of, of an important human ritual to signify a passage such, such as a wedding, birth, or graduation. You may be called into leadership for this event, including being a planner or officiant. This card may be a sign of taking a love relationship to the next level and celebrating your union if you are currently single. This can be a positive sign of meeting your uh, long-term partner. Y'all, this Mercury retrograde got me fucking up. So if I stu 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 stay, stu stay with me, okay, baby? Bleep, bleep, bleep. That's all, folks. All right? So ultimately, you are and can do it. To bring the divine energy to earth and have the ability to celebrate all life for the upliftment and healing of others. Okay, so if it's people who you really want to fix it with during this time and you want to ascend your relationship to the new level, go for it. What you waiting on? What you scared for? Don't be scared. Scared money don't make none. Okay. Right, so I do see for my Libras, a lot of y'all will be receiving downloads between the 1st and the 15th of August. Some of y'all are third eye is hopping, okay? It's really popping and you're knowing who's coming and what you need to be and what you need to communicate. But some of y'all, Spirit does not want you to rush into this to do so, okay? Because Spirit wants you to take time. You have to separate from somebody, okay? During that time in separation, your third eye could have actually been opening then, okay? So you were going through a spiritual awakening. So most of y'all were separated from someone. This person is coming back now that you've healed your mind, body, um, as well as spirit, your for some of y'all, y'all soul chakra is popping. It's a very pivotal time as far as passion, okay? So between the 1st and 15th, a lot of y'all might be feeling like ooey gooey. <laughs> ooey gooey, okay? Y'all might be feeling a little mm, like, all right, with all of that fire, all right? Because I feel like for some of y'all, y'all waiting on the fire sign of Leo to be exact. Some of y'all waiting on the Leo to come back and ravish you. But I feel like some of y'all had to pull away from this person due to integrity issues. A lot of y'all putting y'all integrity matters first. Okay, what matters most to you? Will I allow my self-love to be compromised because I love you? Will I allow you to disrespect me and all this shit because I love you because we've been together for all this time? No. So it's about you communicating what you truly, truly feel. Okay? All right, so let's get it. Angels, please give me the messages for... A sign of Libra between the 1st and the 15th of August, please. Oh. Okay. Thank you. 1st and the 15th of August, please. Mm -hmm. New cycles, closing cycles out. Come on, y'all. Putting them burdens down for some of y'all. Communicating with a damn Taurus for some of y'all. First to the fifteenth. Mm -hmm. Put them burning down the hill, baby. 
because you're going out of one cycle into another. Okay. For those of you who are looking for a job, who possibly are having financial hardships, hold steady, baby. Hold it steady. Your coin is a coming. Okay. However, as far as love is pertained, as as far as love is concerned, and it pertains to your heart. Matters of the heart, you're going to be communicating, okay, or receiving communication, possibly from another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, all right? But I do see, for the most for the most part, some of y'all are going to be moving a soulmate relationship into another level. Some of y'all are getting engaged this month from the 1st to the 15th of August. Congratulations, baby. For some of y'all, y'all balancing out a soulmate relationship. This could both, both of those situations and scenarios could involve a Taurus, okay? Or definitely a Leo or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of y'all have a water sign that's trying to give you love. This person is trying to love on you. And during the first and the 15th, you're going to be focusing on your money for the most part. So you kind of, you, some of y'all are cutting this person with a sword. And this is not an old person. This is someone that's trying to come into your life who's new. But you're not allowing this person in because you, you're healing your mind, body, and spirit. You're getting you right, okay? But I do see between the first and the 15th, you're going to come out of this cycle of feeling like you have to carry all of these burdens. Okay, you're going to put them damn burdens down because half of these burdens don't even belong to y'all. They belong to outside people, possibly a Virgo, okay, for some of y'all. Some of y'all are going to be coming out of this cycle. You're going to turn away love altogether and you're just going to focus on your coin, okay, and get doing so for some of y'all is a good look, all right, because I do see you going from an 8 to a 10. So some of y'all could also be receiving promotions between this time, between the 1st and the 15th. Some of y'all are just going to heal and come out of this cycle and just do some introspection and be real with yourself. My self-love, my self-work matters most to me. Fuck this shit. It, feel, it hurts too bad. True love, love is an emotion. It is going to hurt, okay? It's going to hurt, but it's not supposed to be. It, love ain't supposed to drag you through the mud. Okay, the lessons come from, the lessons are gained from the hurt and through the hurt. But if both of y'all are trying to love each other and that love is reciprocated pro properly, you ain't going to keep going through the same lessons with somebody because you can't keep make you can, you can't make a mistake more than once. At that, at that point, it is no longer a fucking mistake. It's a free will choice. Okay. And I don't know who that's for, but it's for somebody. It's two of cups. Yeah, some of y'all are have a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is a new person. This person is divinely sent to help you balance out your world so you don't have to carry all them burdens by yourself. This person is not only coming in and offering you love, but this person is trying to help you financially, okay? This person looks at you, especially if you're someone who have children, okay? If you're a Libra man and you have... Um, a child with a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, okay, and you're ending a cycle with this person, you have a woman trying to come in who could, be, who could possibly be a water sign or a Leo. They're coming in, and they're trying to help you, but you want to carry all them damn burdens by yourself, and you're blocking your own blessing, okay? I feel like some of y'all, because you're carrying these burdens, you're handling people with the sword. Some of y'all got to, yeah, some of y'all going to be finding out about a Virgo who put you in a third-party situation, okay? And for some of y'all, you're married to this person, and I ain't going to lie, you're going to cut their ass up. Y'all going to be going to be a conflictious time also with other air signs. If you're dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you want to start something new with this person, but this person don't know how the hell to talk to you. So you're just moving on and focusing on yourself, your finances, healing from your actual situation that you could have just left out of and just going into a new cycle of self-love. But some of y'all, this person is water sign that's trying to come in is a cancer and you're so busy carrying burdens that you're not letting this person in, okay? But this could also be external to your energy. This could be somebody doing this to you as well. Somebody's focusing on their money and focusing on healing because they've been through a hell of a cycle. Somebody is working on repairing a family relationship, okay, that they have a child with somebody. And this could also be with the earth sign Capricorn towards Virgo um, or a water sign Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Strong emphasis on the cancer, okay? Um... A lot of y'all are healing from a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in the past that made you feel rejected. You feel like, I don't want to feel like that anymore, so I'm going to choose me. I'm going to choose loving my damn self until you decide to get your mind right. Because who ain't got to deal with that shit? <laughs> it's I, Libra, the fuck? All right, so some of y'all are going into a new cycle with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person could be younger than you. And some of y'all is just like really blocking this person out, but I do see that this person is also going to add to your life. They're not going to take away from it. Some of y'all, after receiving some truth and clarity, y'all going to cut a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the fuck off between the 1st and the 15th of August, okay? And as soon as you cut that person off, you go to Ten of Pentacles again, baby. It's written in the, it's written in the stars. It's in the cards, okay?
For some of y'all, y'all going to get some truth and clarity about a child, okay? And it's going to piss you off. Some of y'all have a Leo that wants to come in and start over and add to your life as well. If this person was from the past, they want to come back in and bring balance. They want to confess something, possibly give you an apology and just kind of lay the slate clean, especially if this person puts you in a third party situation. But for those of you who have been looking for the coin, the coin comes after you make this damn judgment call. He goes another, the coin comes after, I'm sorry, turn the card back with my bad, y'all. The coin comes after you make this damn judgment call. Make the call. Some of y'all who have not been working, you're going to start another job. If you've been actively looking, you're going to hear something within the next 10 days, 10 weeks, okay? It could also be within a week, but you're going to hear something back between the 1st and the 15th. The coin is going to be coming. New love is coming. If only you just choose to allow it to happen. Quit trying to control everything, and that's for a few of y'all I'm hearing. Quit trying to control everything. We just mere puzzle pieces, okay? We mere, we little puppets on the string. God put the strings. The universe makes shit shake, all right? So if people are not meant to be in your life, stop trying to fight it. No matter how much you fight it, they're going to continuously hurt you. Let it happen voluntarily because involuntarily, baby, from my own experience, it don't feel good. And I got a Libra rising, so I definitely resonate a little bit with this reading. But I will say from the 1st to the 15th of August, baby, choose yourself. Your self-worth, your integrity. It's attractive. And it's going to attract the right person towards you. Just don't cut their ass up with the sword because they look at you as a nurturer. They look at you as someone they can build with, they can create with. But only person that's going to stand in your way of blocking their love is you, baby. Okay? So I love y'all very, very much. This is what I have for y'all for the month of August. I will see y'all back mid-August, boo. Love you long time.